this your first time? How long have you been here? No, man. So I've been coming to Dragon's Lair for like, I think like four years now. Four years. All right. Yeah. What? What? Uh, what like kind of like sparkled your interest in coming? Ooh, what sparkled my interest? Well, so I move around a lot, and I like like you do go comics. to di you do you go to different comic stores. Like what? Like what like makes what, me want to come here? Yeah, what drew you to here? Uh, so I'd say the reason I come here more than anywhere else is because uh, really just the atmosphere, Bernie. I mean, Bernie knew my name like. Yeah. A couple of times after coming here. Yeah. First name basis with yeah. everybody. Uh, it's really just like, shit, great community. Right, well, I, I always uh, feel comfortable coming here. How, how did you get into comic books? Oh, man. Yeah, I've been watching superhero stuff since I was like a little kid with my dad. So getting into comics was just kind of like that next progression of, of enjoying yeah. comics and finding stories and just yeah. reading stuff. All right. All right. Uh, what is your favorite superhero? Marvel, DC, mm. or whatever. My favorite superhero, DC is Superman, 100. percent There's no beating him. And then I'd say Marvel, probably Amazing Spider-Man. Me too. Yeah. That's, right. that's, that's, that's what that's do you weird. What do you like about Superman? What makes you love him so much? Oh man, Superman. Uh, He's white. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. I love Superman because, I mean, he just. He knows, like, he always knows what's right, and just, that's what he does. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's if it's worse or harder off, he does what's yeah. right, regardless. Yeah, all right, well, what do you like about Spider-Man? His jokes. He's always, he's quick on his feet. Yeah, he's exactly. really good, really good. All right, uh, can you remember the first comic book that you ever, like, tried to pick up? Like, <laughs> the earliest comic book. The earliest comic book, man. I think the earliest comic book I ever picked up was a Star Wars comic book. Star Wars like, comic book? Yeah, when I was, like, just finding out about Star Wars in, like, 98, 97. All right, so, um, do you have a CGC that's, like, your favorite? Or uh, if not, like, what's your favorite comic book that you own? Like, what's your prized possession? Favorite comic book that I own? Dude, that's a hard one. Uh, man, there's a... There's like a... So, my wife got me a old, like, number... I want to say, like, number six or seven Star Wars from, like, the original printing. That's probably my that's favorite. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for answering these questions. Yeah, man. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, I'm here with... Uh, Eric Klaus. Eric Klaus. Yeah, he draws uh, ninjas and comics. Or <laughs> ninjas, and <Bro. laughs> Nin ninjas and robots here at the Dragon's Lair. And well, I don't actually draw it here. But what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, all right, I'm here with Eric Klaus. Uh, creator. All right, I'm here with the creator and drawer. All right, I'm here with the creator and artist of Ninjas and Robots. All right, so let's start off. What 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 made you think of Ninjas and Robots? Like, what what kind of like inspired you to make it? Well, two of my favorite things are ninjas and robots. You just um, kind of put them together. Maybe I did, I did. So I grew up uh, on '80s Ninja Turtle cartoons and. Okay. And back in the day, and, yeah, sure. and back in the day, uh, they had to use robots as bad guys just because of the violence, you know. So parents would get mad if there's a lot of blood and stuff. So that's what I grew up watching, and I just always thought it was really cool. It's a very kind of Japanese-oriented thing. Uh, a lot of martial arts, a lot of robots. And you come around here, so you must love Asians. Yeah. I love Asians. I wish I was Asian. <laughs> All right. Well, what what drew you what, what drew you to the store? Like, yeah. So what? this this is my local shop. I love this store. I used to come here when I was a kid, uh, back when X Men, uh, the '90s X Men, Jim Lee stuff was coming out. Gen 13 was coming out. I was coming here buying books, and Bernie was working here back then. And it was funny because back then I had no concept of tax. So like I thought that whatever the price was, that's what it was. What's going on? And so and so I came in to buy a Gen 13 book and I had the exact amount and I gave it to Bernie and of course there was tax and he was like uh and I was like uh because my parents just let me in and and he hooked me up with the book back then and so since that time I've always just kind of loved the store, loved the people, love the books, want to support community, want to support you guys. 
Right. Well, come on, whatever I can. All right. Um, what's your what, what's your favorite superhero? You talk about like, me. I heard you talk about me. I guess yeah. it's the video later. Cause you're my boy, man. I, I hope it was good. Yeah, it was good. It's always good. It's always we're live, good. by the way. So yeah, we're live. We're we're vlogging there. All right. Well, what what was your favorite superhero? Like DC, Marvel, like whatever. So for Marvel, it's always been the X Men. For DC, it's always been Batman. It's kind of. What's your what's your favorite member of that? Let's tell that to Quincy. I should or I should not. Does he? Batman's pretty good. Has to be the same. Scott Snyder's Batman. Um, I think that was by far the best Batman run. Who the the different? Because Batman should be separated in the 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 cat. There's ninjas in Batman, and there were ninjas in X Men back in the nineties. Uh, so X Men is is definitely gonna probably be Psylocke, Psylocke. female ninja. Uh, I also like Wolverine a lot. <laughs> And uh, yeah, Batman is probably I like I like Robin, I like he's a cool character. I like Batgirl. I don't know. All right, one one more question. What yes. was what was your favorite part about making ninjas and robots? Like, what what did you enjoy the most of it? Like drawing, creating, like definitely, definitely the drawing, definitely the inking. Um, it's a special book because the characters are mine. I, I made them up. Um, the story is mine. I made it up. I kind of just do whatever I want. But definitely my favorite part of the process is inking. Like, you know, the rough stuff is fun and figuring stuff out. Um, I don't like the coloring as much. It's tedious. It's a little boring. But it's cool. But yeah, the inking is probably the most fun. It's the messiest. So it's the All right, well, thank you for answering these questions. My pleasure. And I hope, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day at the 45 year anniversary here at the Dragon's Lair. I'll try. Thank you very right. much. And please don't show up late. Okay, no, I'll be on time. Ever again. Mm hmm. So. Did you drink yours? I did not buy beer. I... Brent, Brent was talking Are about you sure getting this beer. Lloyd's not here yet? How's the ref? Lloyd, I mean, sorry, I don't know why I said Lloyd. Hmm? Uh, yeah. I'm sure. Table Tech is a frothy. No, this is like IPA. This is stuff Mike doesn't drink. It's uh, 100%. I'm drinking it. I'm being forced to drink it. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah you're no. going to jail. You want your mom right out there? She'll draw kid you right the shit and then you're done. Give it to my mom. I don't know if she drinks. What's she got there? Well, you don't need to be walking out some frothy. Your mom here? Yeah, she's right there. We're going to make we're gonna make you our drink that we make, Mike. We were talking about that this morning. Okay. Let's do it. You will drink it. I'll drink anything. It's a little bit girly, so you will like it. Is it called it. Slap Shot? Do you know that uh, not, every time me we and have not go to dinner? dinner. <laughs> 42 right there. 40, 43. We round four, it up because we we'll never know what happens, right? You never know what happens if you So we're doing 45, and then when it comes to 45, we'll do the actual 45. But I want to thank all of you for all your support through the years, even if it's been last week was the first time you came in. And it goes from the bottom of my heart. I've been running this place for 28 years. And I know, I know, I've seen a lot of faces come and go. But the one thing I always hear that I'm proud to say is, I'll get a call, or, or just on Facebook now, it's like, man, we don't miss Fayetteville, <laughs> but we miss your store. And man, uh, they say nothing compares to what we have, what we have back there. So I want to thank you guys. We're striving every day. Um, you guys recently know I went through about back in February, and we made a lot of changes. Uh, so we're hoping that those changes that have come bring it on to a new legacy to my grandson, my nephew, and uh, we just thank you guys. So and we've me. got Cake and me and Mike, thank Quincy you, thank and you. them boys. Thank you, thank you. So uh, we thank I thank you us all from the bottom of my heart. Uh, it could never be repaid even more than that. So thank you guys for that. Thank you guys for coming in. We've got cupcakes and cake, 45% off all the comic books in the store. As far as back issues go, yeah. so buy some yeah. stuff up. And the last but not least, we do have a beautiful raffle going on. Uh, and all the proceeds, you guys see the shirts we got. It's all about the comic community. My dear friend Chris and his son Brennan went through a tragedy the last couple weeks. We love you guys. And you know, all this is for you guys. We love you. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys. More and more. Take care. All right. <laughs> what got you into comics, Rusty? Um, Actually, I should have just said what you're doing. All right. Now, I know, I know your name. I know your name's <laughs>
Alright, I'm here with Rusty. What, what got you in the comics, you know? Um, I actually got into them when I was a kid. Um, I don't know how, who um, got me the first one or whatever, but I just got into X-Men. And that got me into drawing and things like that. And that just kind of kept going and going. Um, just like the stories, I love the art. And, uh, but about middle school, I stopped all that. And I've been out of comics for probably like 20 years. So when COVID actually started, I got up with uh, Bernie and the uh, death metal uh, series just started and that's actually what got me back into it now. That's so. good. Well, do you prefer DC or Marvel? I like I like a little bit of everything. Honestly, right now the indies are probably my favorites. Um, the indies are pretty good right now. But in like DC, you know, I, obviously I like Batman and the Batgirl story, stuff like that. Um, not, not too much a fan of Marvel actually. So, yeah, probably DC and Andy's my favorite. What, like, draws you to the store coming here? The store? Uh, honestly, it's it's like a family. I mean, um, as soon as I come through the door, everybody's hollering my name or some kind of insult. Whichever, it's fine. Um, and, you know, just hanging out, talk, I'll come to buy a comic and end up staying here for an hour just, you know, talking to people. So. What's, your, what's your favorite thing about, like, what's your favorite, what's your favorite thing about the shop? You know, like, what's your favorite thing to, like, like looking around, you know, getting to, getting to pick up what you once had in this Hmm. I, I don't know. I just kind of like everything. Like, it's easy for me, as, even as many times as I've been here, just to come in the door and just do a circle and walk around and just enjoy everything from the statues, the toys. I mean, there's literally something for everybody here. Thank you for answering the questions. And <laughs>got you into comics? What first got me into comics was uh, pretty much is interesting because what first got me into comics was Golden Key Turok and Dinosaurs. Wow. Yeah. Did anyone intro introduce you to it? Or I, just... Me and a couple friends, we pretty much, we were buying the Aurora models, Snap Aurora models of D, uh, dry, uh, Dinosaurs and we went up to the 7-Eleven in Orlando to get some comics just to see what they we could get and my friend told me about Torox so I bought Torox and then I started buying DC comics and then I moved here and another friend introduced me to Marvel and that was like the big thing I flipped all my DC for Marvel stuff right. uh, we know you've been coming here for a little bit yeah not because you're old but you know oh yeah I'm old so uh when did, you, when did you start like coming to the store? I know it started off as a flea market. Um, it was a flea market back when I was, I want to say I was 14, because I didn't have license yet, so I had to ride a bicycle up here, and I had to ride it from uh, Hope Mills Road to pretty much here, but it was all the way on the other side, closely to where the tax place was. Um, it was a little bit. Not from at the tax base, but further in. But it was a big, long, silver building. It was nothing but a flea market. And you would go in one door, and then the lair was right there in a little cube. Right. So what, like, drew you to come in the store? A friend of mine, uh, D. Miller, found it and told me about it. Uh, uh, can you remember what the first comic book you picked up was? Uh, it was Torok, I want to say number 28. Number 28. All right. And Golden Key. All right. Well, Put it out. So, some of us know what your favorite superhero is, but for some some of the newer viewers oh. here, who is your favorite superhero? Thor is my favorite. All right. Well, what do you like about Thor? What's your favorite it's thing about just Thor? the easel warrior. And I'm big on big person on historical Viking stuff anyway, so. All right. Well. Norse mythology. Besides, besides comics, what kind of, like, when you first started coming here, what kind of drew you here? You, you know, like, besides comics, um, you know, everyone comes here. John, John and Hoyt, uh, who owned it first, they were, like, really good guys. And I got to know John because, you know, I was raised by a single mother. So I got to know him closer than anything else. That's, real, that's yeah. really good. All right. 
Alright, oh, well, thank you for answering some of these no questions. Right, well, I'm here with Gary, who is a volunteer here at the Dragon's Lair. Uh, what, what first got you into comics? Uh, this is many, many, many years ago, uh, around 69 or 70. I was uh, having a hard time uh, in kindergarten. I didn't like anything they wanted me to read. So my oldest brother made a deal with me. He said if I would read the books that they had at school, that he would uh, buy me some comic books. I didn't quite know what they were. He took me to the uh, store. This is dating me now. Back in the day, they had comic books on a spinning rack. And uh, he picked out a couple of books for me, one of them being Thor, a few other characters. And I loved it. I mean, the artwork, and I just, I was amazed. You know, I hadn't seen anything like that. And it became like my little escape, you know, my little fantasy. I could go in there and be right in there with him, you know, fighting the bad guys. All right, well. But uh, it, I loved it, and it, uh, like I said, and it got me to where I started reading stuff at school, some of the things I liked. Most of them I didn't, but, you know. Yeah. But, but that was my influence. It just, you know. All right. And I've stayed with it ever since. Yeah. All right. Um, how, long, how long have you been here at the lair? Like, how long have you? I've been coming here on and off. Since 1994. I was on leave from England, come home. My parents lived here in Fayetteville, and uh, I wanted to, you know, read some comic books. Looked in the yellow pages because there was no Google, <laughs> and I found this place, man, and I loved it. I met Bernie. I've been coming here ever since. All right. Well, what's your what's your favorite thing about the Dragons? Like, like the community? Like, oh, uh, it has got to be. Uh, definitely the community uh, community and the, the, the camaraderie I feel in here is uh, we call each other comic book brothers but in a way uh, we, re we really mean it you know because we, we love the, the genre and we love talking about it and kind of making fun of each other because we all have our favorites you know oh you know, my guy can beat your guy type of stuff yeah. but uh, it's family here and I love it I, lo I definitely love it too I'm sure everyone here at the layer does and one last question sure. well Pretty much like an A and B type question. What's your favorite superhero? Thor? You know it. You right. know what, it. What's your favorite thing about Thor? Uh, Thor goes by like a, a code of honor, a sense of honor. And he has a really, really black and white sense of like what is wrong and what is right. And his, even though he's a god, but his moral compass is, is, is his compass. And I, and I like that, that he's, you know, he's very defined. Maybe some people might even say he's boring, but I like it because, you know, he's, he's dependable, he's unwavering, he's unchanging, and he's brave. You know, no matter that, no matter the odds, he'll never back down. You know, he, you, you might knock him down, but he'll get right back up and he's going to fight, man. And I love that. I love people like that. All right. Well, thank you for answering some right. of these questions. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. All right. I'm here with Joss at the Dragon's Lair, obviously. So what what got you into comics? You know, like um, I guess my dad. You know, when I, I was growing up, I had a, a pretty close cousin too. He, uh, my cousin Anthony, he uh, had a ton of comics, and this was like during like silver and and bronze age. And then my dad, as I got older, um, he collected books. So I just naturally got into it with them because every time I'd go over to my cousin Anthony's house, I would just always like be looking through the comic books. You know, so that's really just what got me started. Right. Can you, can you remember the first comic book you picked up? Or one of the probably ones? probably Star Wars number one. Star Wars number Star one. Star Wars number one was the first book I probably ever read because being a kid during the eighties, you know, I was just into Star Wars, right? Um, and I think the first Star Wars movie came out like in seventy seven, and I was born in eighty. Um, so fast forward, yeah, when I'd ever go over to cousin Ann's house, I would just always read the Star Wars books because I really wasn't up to par with like Spider-Man and everybody else then but after Star Wars then I became into Spider-Man and Batman and X-Men those are my main three right there alright well what's, what's your favorite thing about uh, here like you know community in the store like just I mean you see it you know um, the close knitness uh, you know you feel like family here, you know. Um, you feel always feel welcome when you're here. 
Um, it's an amazing store with a bunch of amazing people. Always got deals going on. They always work with you. Um, and they help teach you about, you know, the comic book industry and collecting and, you know, things to look for and some things to stay away from. So ultimately, it's just the whole atmosphere of the store is great. All right. Uh, what, what drew you here in the lair? Like when you first came in here, what was like, man, I so I to come here again? I started collecting again when I was in Kentucky. I moved here for work and um, I was looking for a comic book store and I just hit Google and I saw the Dragon's Lair was right outside of, out of Fort Bragg where I work at. Um, so I just came in and like from that day, just talking to people, you know, it, it was it was an easy decision to make. It's right by work, so I can just skate out during lunch, come pick up books, hang out for a little bit, and go back to work. So. All right. Well, one last question: What is your favorite superhero? It's a toss up between Spider-Man and Batman. I think Batman gets the edge. All right. All right. Well, yeah. what's your favorite thing about Batman? He's just a regular dude that um, has a ton of money and uh, has just honed his body and his skills, you know, to compete with people that have powers and, and all that other stuff. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you for answering some of the questions. Cool. And, yeah. All right. I'm here with Michelle, who was, who was just shopping at the Dragon's Lair for the past year, you said? Around. Around. All right. So, for. What was your what, what was your uh, first comic book you picked up? Oh, it's probably from here. I'm not. I just started comic books. Really. Uh, that's what that's what I was asking. Like, yeah. It was like you said it was like less than a year ago. So. Well, so. God, I've lived here for about eight years, and I was in coffee scene one night, and I was talking to this woman, and she was telling me about the Faycon, mm -hmm. the first year Faycon came out. And she was saying, go to Dragon's Lair to pick up the tickets. And I was like, what is that? Like, I don't even know what that is. So that was our first introduction to Dragon's Lair several years ago. Several. So this year is when we really started to get into comics and look at stuff. And so my hardest one was trying to figure out which one I wanted to get. <laughs> All right. Well, are, so, you, are you reading anything currently? Like some of your stuff you're interested to? Uh... No, I'm going to school, so I don't have time to read comics at this moment, but I have a huge bag full of comics that I'm going to read. Um, but some of the ones that I'm reading are like uh, Joker, Harley Quinn, um, Batman Black and White, um, my stack. All right. Let's see. Um, I think... Oh, no, just found that one. And then I'll uh, find the rest of these ones. I just kind of find whatever is pretty art, and then I kind of go from there. All right. Well, uh, what is what is your favorite superhero? That's the most loaded question you could ever ask someone. It goes along with asking someone how much they weigh and how old a woman is. Child. No, my first, my favorite one has to be Batman. Yeah, honestly, man. yeah, it's one of the first superheroes I was ever introduced to. All right, uh, what's your favorite thing about Batman? That originally he was a detective, and even without his money, he could still kick everyone's ass. I think that's, I think that's every, almost everyone's <laughs> favorite thing about Batman. Yeah. All right, and uh, so when you first came in here, what, what drew you into the store? What drew you into the store when you first came in? I love to shop local, so for me it was. Well, there's a comic shop I've never been in one before. All right. Uh, what is your favorite thing about here in the Dragon's Lair? Uh, the back issues, the people, mostly the people. It's nice to come in and not be judged for not knowing anything about yeah. comics. Yeah, because I mean, everyone here, uh, I mean, pretty much everyone here is almost kind of like nerds. I right, mean, and it's like, I mean, there's some places you go to and you get like 50 questions about all of the back issues and all the fine mm -hmm. people, and I'm like, I don't know these things, so I was a little intimidated at first, but then everyone here is like super nice. They're like, well, what do you like? And I tell them, like, try this one, try that one. Yeah. Yeah, we're always open, open here if you're helping people. Mm -hmm. so. All right, well, thank you for letting us do this interview. Mm -hmm. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and please comment. We, we love to see all of your, your guys' comments. All right, and you guys have a good day, and God bless.
Hey everybody, I wanna give a quick message before we end this video. I wanna say thank you for everyone that came out yesterday, helped us celebrate 45. It was an awesome day, spectacular and fabulous, all wrapped down in one. We got to do a lot of things. Uh, we got to raise some money <clears throat> for a community member, a comic community member, and man, that made it so inspirational. I will have to say, it will go down as one of my favorite, favorite moments that I've owned the Dragon's Lair. So thank you guys that helped us do that. Uh, I know a few of you couldn't come in, uh, make it yesterday, and you guys sent messages anyways. And man, that felt really good reading all those messages. So before we move on, I want to thank the man uh, who made this happen. Uh, John Hancock, rest in peace, brother. Thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, to take the Dragon's Lair to another level. I remember a few months after I took over, you put my arm around me and you said, Bernie, I know you could you could do this. Man, that made me feel so good. Thank you so much. I know you're up there with the man upstairs. Uh, so thank you so much. Rest in peace, brother. Uh, along the way, I've had so many people help us at the store. And man, I'm going to thank you guys, each and every one of you, not for just helping, but being a friend and uh, bringing a unique quality uh, to the Dragon's Lair. I don't want to say any names because I know that because I'm so old <laughs> that I will mess up and forget somebody. But I want to let you know that all of you are not forgotten. You guys are all in my head, uh, but most of all in my heart, guys. So thank you so much for helping me make this little comic book store. Uh, make it through the years 45. Uh, so thank you so much. And last but not least, all the customers. Thank you over the years, many of you have come and gone. Some are still there, but some of you send me messages on Facebook, still checking on us. And uh, man, it feels good that I just made, I didn't just have a customer, but I made a friend for life. So thank you guys for all that. It really has been a long journey. And thank the man upstairs for letting it come through uh, when we need it. So thank you guys. Have a great day. God bless. And as I always say, it's all about the comic community. And I just don't say that as as just a word to come out. It's really meaningful. And yesterday showed that we could all come together as a comic community for a common goal and for someone in the community. So thank you guys. Have a great day. I'm going to get this. Been drinking a little bit. So here's to another 45. Thank you. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye.